Hello and welcome back to another video guys. I'm fishing a brand new map today um, called Rosal in uh, Blackpool. I don't know what or clean up, whatever it is. Um, unfortunately you might pick up a bit of uh, wind. It's blowing a huge wind at the moment, about 25 miles over coast. All the bit of the sea out there, really mean the sea. Perfect for bass and uh, cod fishing here, I believe. South westerly, uh, fishing down to low water. Low water is about 7 o'clock this evening, currently about 4 o'clock now. So we're gonna be fishing down to low, maybe an hour or two up, see if we can bring the cod out of here, leaving the bass. Um, show you the setup for this session, guys. Sorry, the wind is coming. And uh, I'll have another windshield on the GoPro. One of the rods, fishing a running ledger rig, a short ish. Well, I don't want to get this tongue around the rig body, uh, really rough out there. So that's a single uh, yellow tail on there. Down to just a circle hook, top chase, 3 0, and a 4 0. Uh, Aberdeen there, uh, not Aberdeen, sorry. Um, or Shaughnessy. That's a shark. I've got a bait on the set. I'm trying to hold the bottom. It's really rough, it's going to be hard. Oh my god. I've got one down the bottom, it's on. Use your rig. Uh, six arms. Uh, I think it's going to be ideal because uh, I made that my uh, other rod is fishing with that, so I've got the 11 foot and uh, 14 foot and it's a anywhere. Uh, Powered in the 10 bottle, 8,000, 50 pounds, 33 great. Look at the conditions out there, really rough. Hoy hopefully, not much of a weed, if there is a weed, it's going to be hard. To hold the bottom and uh, be hard to see the bites and that. Uh, anyway, get these rod out and they get close to the sea. Hopefully, get some fish. Fingers crossed. Well, we're fishing now. Look at that conditions out there. Very rough. Um, trying to shelter the GoPro, so I got my uh, got the wind behind me, and then turned the tripod. Lovely bit of the sea there. Surely there's some cods about. Really for cod down. Like I said. Uh, Brand new bunny. Never fished it before. But uh, popped into a Fleetwood uh, tackle shop and uh, he told us where to go. And uh, there are some cuts coming out of here recently, up to like three pounds. So fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully, we get a first Blackpool cut out. First ever. First fish, guys. Is it? What oh, is it? Cod? Yeah, cod in. Cod. <laughs> oh, nice one. I told you. Bad time. We've been fighting with the wind and uh, drop it down also. We've been fighting with the wind. And uh, it swells massive out there today. But uh, I told my mate, he said, uh, I said to him, quite time to get the fish in this, quite time now, because we crossed the top of this, and I'm fishing for the water, and then that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. All this water, off the mark. There you go. Nice little folding. Come on. Let's 
Today, rock, rock tips all over the place. Made a struggling to see the bike, but it was on my uh, bash rod to 11 foot. It actually doubled over and slacked behind me. But I'll slack off and fish on. Biggest off the se biggest off the season so far. Uh, almost actually 50 centimeters. But yeah, uh, fish came uh, an hour before low. So I'll say to my mate, if it fishes now, it should fish from now on because we crossed a couple of gullies and they're fishing into deep water now. I'll show me the conditions again. That is screaming for bass, cod, you know me. Wind coming from our left. This is hard, hard to hold the bottom at the moment with the side wind so red uh, leads are rolling a bit but still catching luckily one cod each hopefully we'll see a couple of more uh, we're gonna fish it down to low which is in about 40 minutes now i think and uh, maybe an hour up uh, i've got waders on but my mate got uh, only got is my IMAX, he borrowed that with the valleys. But he's, he's literally soaking at the moment. But yeah, uh, happy with that. He came on the bass rig. One up, one down, my bass rig. Uh, that's the second cutting of the year. The first one was the last video I put out. Uh, caught it while I'm targeting bass. Seen the recent report thought give it a go never uh, never fished it here and it's not far from me so instead of driving three hours for bass came for codlin and uh target achieved guys brilliant right we'll carry on as you can see rod tips all over the place perfect conditions for Codling really, but tough. Well, we got the reward so far, so fingers crossed. Hopefully, get one more. Either way, we both got codling. Target achieved. Happy days. So I'll get back to you shortly, guys. If you get anything.
podding and awaiting. Right, let's go. Brilliant. It's on my back again. Right, uh, two hook. That's the advantage of uh, using a panel hook on the flapper rigs. Uh, this one's on the circle, that one on the bottom, and a white lighting on the top, not a top trace, yeah? Yeah, cut on the uh, bottom trace. That's a nice size. Release these two and keep this one that's well over size. Probably about 46, 47 centimeters. Get in! There we go, guys. Small cutting and a white in. We'll put these back. And then keep this one. Woohoo! One rig, three fish. Get these released. That's probably in size, but. Hardly any fluid on it. The whiting probably won't go back, but. Not taking in whiting. That's whiting. Of course, we've got to give out a deep look up anything. Yep. Off he goes, guys. That's gone. Get in. Oh, it's testing. Turn out to me. Enjoy some more water now. Uh, what I've gone down with kind of did this again. Last week's what I did. I've uh, changed a bit on the other one. I was fishing there. Fishing with running ledge on there. Didn't get a single bike. That's probably been tangling the tide. So that's a one up one down on that as well now. And this is the rig. My usual bass rig. If you're new to the channel, there's a video. A uh, couple of videos down. Check it out if you're interested. Been walking so well with this one. And my mate bought up one of these as well. He caught a cod in the rig. And that's another cod from there. Tea sorted. Nice, two, two good sized cod in for the table, guys. Who's in the lap? Happy days. Right, put this out of the misery. And then uh, get another bait off. Now, three cod in for me, white in, and then my mate had a small one before we went back. Right guys, stay tuned, hopefully get a bigger one. About 10, 15 minutes of low tide now guys. Fish came from about an hour before, up to now. So, within an hour of mine. Oh, is that a bite? This 11 foot bass rod, rod tips all over the place. Not ideal for fishing here, but um, there, there we go, we got a bite. Yeah, we got here really early and then we have to cross a couple of 
this that an uh, army got sold. We didn't know what it is. But next time, that will be coming here two hours before low. We should go on to low and then maybe an hour up. Not a bad session so far. So I'll leave that and then you might try to jump the truck again. There's only some inquiries there. The 11 foot rod, all the fish came onto that rod. With the one up, one down. Proper it. There we go. That's a bite. Yeah? Bite, didn't it? Good bar being fish on there. You can't tell. Could be a bite. Switching at 40 50 yards out, we can't really pass far. We can't be doing it. Reading up, casting, dragging to the right, side bend. I'm not quick ditching, we should have beat here. Massive ball on it. Uh, if that kind of information will get back here. There we go, guys. Another double shot. Hot thing. Another fluff. And a dog fish. Brilliant. On the one up, one down again. Uh, how many pot now? Fourth, is it? Two, three. Fourth one or fifth? I can't remember now. Anyway, that's definitely in size. That's well oversized. <laughs> but I'm not getting them on route. Let me give you a better shot, guys. There we go, guys. That's the pot in there. In size, 30 centimeters. But well, I don't really take them if they're under 40 centimeters. I don't really put it on there. So we got enough for our table for this evening. We have my mate. Enjoying later on. So that's definitely inside three make three centimeters over. But I don't think there's enough uh, fillet. So good uh, wash up. Get this good puffies on. Guys, uh, that's the end of the session. Back home now. Not about a little session, to be fair. Um, we had five cod in our good few white in, and a dogfish. Um, we literally packed up just after low water. Um, it was maybe 10 minutes after low or 20 minutes after low. Uh, reason being, my mate got soaked. He didn't have waders. Um, he put my iMac suit on, but with the valleys on, but obviously. Crossing the gullies, uh, you end up getting soaked. So I didn't want to, him to <laughs> suffer any longer. We did bad feet. Uh, yeah, um, I, I would say uh, definitely a weight is uh, essential there. Uh, unless if you start fishing about three, three and a half hour before low, and the gullies were still deep, uh, we had to cross a couple of gullies. And as uh, soon as I said, uh, after this call, it should start fishing to my mate. And then he had one on, uh, one on straight away. And then not long after, about an hour before low, uh, fish just literally switched on, one after another. Double shot, triple shots. So, decent session on the codling, guys. Uh, baits were uh, yellow tails, fresh ones from uh, Fleetwood to Tackle. So, he, the guy, I don't know his name, he gave us a little uh, information about the mark, where to go and fish. So if you ever watch this video, thanks for, thanks for the information. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we found a nice mark. Uh, probably uh, come back here again. Uh, I was going to go merge today, but it was 9.5 meter high. So it would have been struggle with all the rain and the uh, wind. 
would have been tons of eat. But today was hard day to eat. Uh, South Festival of Ind, massive swell. Ideal cod condition it was. Uh, surprising that no bass showed up, but it's not known for bass. But yeah, um, yeah, happy with the couple of few, well, few cod in. Uh, all keeper size. Uh, released two and I took three. Uh, I was going to fish it, well, I was going to release the another small one, but it didn't go back. It was floating, so I end up taking it as well. I was uh, oversized anyway. Um, one was touching four fifty, and the other one probably forty seven somewhere around there. I didn't measure it, but that was good. I was two pounds. The biggest one nearly three poundish. So decent session on the cod on the new mark. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, my bass rig's done the damage again. One up, one down. Arguably uh, best all round rig for sea fishing. One, one up, one down. Usually bottom feeders go for the bottom trace. Um, yeah, double shots and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, really helps the channel out. And uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, maybe consider subscribing, guys. There will be more to more to come. More video uh, cod videos coming up in the Mersey. Probably squeeze in other bass videos uh, in between sometimes. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.